the one thing I really like about watercolor painting is that you don't control it. It's just like having kids or teaching. You really just try to set up the right boundaries. You try to introduce the mystery of it and you watch what it does. You don't try to control it and paint everything in equally the same. That's one of the secrets to abstract art is allowing it to be out of your control. So there really are four main goals I have for you in this lesson. Number one, to create an abstract background with a dominant color. Because a dominant color means you have one main color for the whole artwork. You can use other colors that are next to it in the color tray. Like if your dominant color is orange, you could use red and yellow next to orange. Because it creates a focus when you have one color. We'll get into that more later. Goal two is to do a blend. If you see, I'm moving the paper with gravity to blend the paint instead of my brush. Goal three is to create accent colors, what is what the goal is in art. But what you're really doing, your goal for you is just to create uh, little circles or characters for your artwork. There's two ways to do this. I'll show you one way here, and then I'll show you another alternative after this uh, artwork. And the fourth goal is to do meaning making. And that means to add details, to cut out. Uh, in this example, I'm cutting pieces out because the background color is so dark and black that I would need to cut out a separate um, piece of paper to glue my pieces on. And you notice I'm cutting out eyes and a leg to glue it on as well. Um, that's one option. That's one way to finish your artwork with a purpose. You're doing meaning making for the fourth step. You're making a purpose for the artwork in, in creating meaning out of nothing. I didn't start this project with the goal of making birds. I just started out with an abstract idea that I wanted to turn into something. So if you want to make something else out of your circles, like cats, that's great. So the goal is not to start with an idea, it's to discover it as you go. Okay, so meaning making is the last step. So I'm gonna try to show you a second alternative to this, another way of doing this project without cutting or gluing if you don't have scissors or glue. Thanks. Create a focus. So let's do this. Let's add some water to our paper. I don't know if you can see the shininess on that or not. That's super important to see how shiny the paper is. Right now my paper is wet. In a few seconds, it's going to be damp. There's a big difference here. So when my paper is very wet, what I'm going to do is add a color. So I have a few final words about abstract art. The first is this. Have a color focus, right? Like I said in the beginning. Have one color that dominates. If you notice, I'm using every color in my color tray, in my watercolor tray, but you notice what you might not see is that I'm actually adding orange, my dominant color, to all of my mixes, just a little bit. It creates unity within your artwork. Now I know that's a challenge for some of you guys. Um, some of my students want to use whatever they want. They, they believe abstract art is free, complete freedom to use all colors however they want. And what you end up with something very distracted, very scattered, very um, unfocused. And it usually isn't very useful at the end of the artwork. And then I have my other students who want control and they want to know what the artwork is from the beginning. But remember I told you the goal of this artwork was to start with no goal in mind other than to be engaged in the discovery. Did you notice I just made a mistake and I dripped my paint when I lifted up my paper? Did I get upset? No. That mistake turned into something I never planned. Right? What if we approached life that way? What if we took more time to understand what our problems are before we jump to interpreting what our problems are? Art's a, a great way to practice that and develop habits there. In art, it's interesting because there's this unclear boundary between concrete rules and freedom. 
Uh, one artist named Francis Bacon believes that the job of the artist is not to discover, but he says the job of the artist is to deepen the mystery because I think he values the freedom of abstract art. Yet, there's another writer named G.K. Chesterton who believes that art, like morality, consists of drawing a line somewhere. That's his quote. Discovering and creating boundaries is like revealing the truth about something that you're finding. It's an interesting uh, dynamics between freedom and rules or grace and truth. Freedom within boundaries, yet creating boundaries. Just something to think about. Have a great day, guys.